today we are back with my series how to sing and you guys tell me so much how you enjoyed it and today I want to look at Billy and she's currently a super 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 favorite singer here in my studio especially for the younger ones so starting from 10 years old up to teenager they just love Billy Eilish I hope I said it right I'm every time saying it wrong so let's look today at the song I don't want to be you anymore and breaking it down giving you some helpful tips and how you can sing this song at home so what we have with I don't want to be you anymore and her also her tone quality is that she's using a lot of breath when she's singing also she's using a lot of head voice or she's using a lot of her speaking voice so there are quite some things going on. Now let's go into that first first phrase, and I'm gonna play it on the piano. Um, so let's go. So. Don't be that way. Fall apart twice a day. Now there are several things on how you can sing that phrase, right? She's using a lot of breath, but she's not all the time on her breath. Now let's say she starts with. Don't be that way. That was me already closing the vocal folds and then singing it in a better tone quality. So my vocal folds come together here and they're not breathy anymore. So I'm not pushing all the time breath through and then close the vocal folds. So one more time. Don't be that way. Fall apart twice a day. I just wish. You can feel what you say. Now it's it's very lean back, so you're not if you're going with full power here, that's not how the song is built. And you want to understand how is the song built? The song is built building momentum or building a kind of an a good chorus where the chorus can go and be just beautifully on that melody. So don't rush into things by doing it. Don't be that way. Fall apart twice a day. I think it's a little bit too much. I'm not saying you cannot do it because you're absolutely free, but let's just have in mind that the song was built that way, particularly here. Okay, so you see that you can mix around within those parts. Let's go. I just wish you could feel what I say. Then there's the repetitive chorus. I'm not going into that. Let's go into the chorus. Now what she's doing is mixing around between a mixed voice and then having a half voice. And because she's having such a good blend in her register, we don't necessarily hear, hear all the time where she's really using the half voice or the mixed voice. Well, I hear it, right? But you know what I mean. So there's this good blend going on in her registers. So if teardrops... If teardrops could be bottled... Now what I've done, I'm starting with a half voice and I'm going... If teardrops if, if tear could be That's already me changing into chest Bottles Switching back into hat voice So that is what I'm doing And this is something that you can do I mean, just to understand what is happening within the chorus, right? But let's just continue If teardrops could be bottled There'd be swimming pools filled by now I'm singing that, that in a lean back casual hat voice to talk totally like that's not my scene here, right? But I just want to show you what you can do. Of course, you can just push through on, on that. If teardrops could be bottled, there'd be swimming pools filled by bottles till the tide just what makes you all. Now this is just one way of making an interpretation of the song. Now we're just gonna go into what she is mainly doing characteristically. Now when she's playing around with it, using a little bit of air, especially on that part core, sorry for saying it right now. So told the titress is what makes you a whore. And she pushes the lot air through. Told the titress is what makes you a whore. And this is a really kind of like, wow, she goes from singing it really accurately with a good vocal closure um, with a little better compression into making it very airy to enunciate that part as, as much as you can. So you're gonna have to find the mix between how much do you want to use for vocal compression, how much vocal compression you want to use and how much you want to go to that airiness, right? Um, and then she goes back, if I, well I'm, got, I'm using some vocal fry before I'm starting my note. It's a really 
odd habit of mine. Doing it, don't do it. Don't create habits. <laughs> if jobs, oh, I'm not doing it. Uh, where have you been? If I love you was a promise, would you break it? If you're honest, tell the mirror what you know she heard before. Then I flipped it a little bit into a mix. So it really depends on which register you are. Because if you're like me, contra alto, you're in your lowest register, you might want to have an earlier, you, you feel that break coming earlier. So what I'm doing is I'm either singing it at hat voice or I'm using a little bit of my mix here going, going on. The thing is, it's not really song, it's more spoken. Now let's go to the phrase, don't be that way, fall apart. Twice a day. Now, what I'm doing, I'm speaking it basically. I'm just bringing my pitch a little bit up higher, but I'm not falling into a phrase. Don't be that. I could, and you can as, as well, but I just want to show you what more likely what she's doing. So she's not tilting and singing it out. Don't be that way. And she has a little bit of vibrato going on when she's singing, so that's like an extra add. So I hope that you could get some helpful tips and knowledge out of that really, really small tutorial. And if you want to see more of it, please, please put like, I'm like an old lady, put that thumb up here. <laughs> Subscribe and let me know in the comment section which of the tutorials you want to see next. Big kisses from Singapore and I see you in my next video. Don't forget to watch now the upcoming tutorial singing speechless on how to sing never enough with more freedom in your voice. Thank you so much for tuning in.